Welcome Aurélie Pontieu from Médecins Sans Frontières for uh, joining us in the Autumn Academy 2018. Um, we heard your uh, intervention about uh, cooperation between MSF and the Italian government during the time where MSF was active in the Central Mediterranean for the search and rescue of migrants. What could you say to us about the opportunities and challenging in cooperating on activities as search and rescue? Well, I think it's um, the search and rescue experience is quite uh, interesting in in terms that it it gives us the opportunity to reflect on uh, you know how bad it can go actually in terms of state cooperation and uh, state and NGO cooperation. Um, we we've been through different phases um, where we had a collaboration that uh, allowed us to save quite a lot of people, um, that allowed us to also change the the way search and rescue is being done. So I think that was the main opportunity for us as a humanitarian actor to really reinforce the search and rescue mechanism, um, meaning that we could you know influence uh, the way people were being rescued, um, advocate for proactive patrolling as close as possible to departure points so that you can maximize the impact of your operation and really changing the dynamics in terms of uh, the role of, uh, of these vessels um, operating in the, in, the, in the Mediterranean Sea. Um, the challenges were very much um, the very close interaction between states and, uh, and NGOs at sea. Uh, you cannot do search and rescue without um, coastal states. Um, so it's very clear that search and rescue is a humanitarian obligation for all vessels, regardless if they are you know, state-led uh, vessels or military vessels or commercial ships. Um, but there was no clear role for NGOs in that, um, in that sphere. It's, uh, you know, it's not very common to have NGOs operating at sea, and, uh, and it was very new to us as well. Um, um, so it's an obligation for all, but the, the responsibility to coordinate the rescue and to um, allow disembarkation and find a port of safety is really much a state responsibility. So we were very dependent on this relationship between, um, with the state, basically. So that created a bit of, um, of a challenge. Um, that was fine when actually we had common objective, which was to save lives at sea. And uh, even if we would slightly disagree on the way to do it, um, there was a period between 2015 and 2016 where we we had find a way to work together, and uh, and yeah, we had quite a good impact, I think. This change when the strategy of the Italian government and the EU um, didn't put save, saving lives at sea as a priority anymore, but more the containment in Libya, the prevention of departure, uh, we started to really uh, affect uh, our, our operational space at sea and, uh, and led to a lot of tensions uh, that we started seeing in 2016, 2017.